this point, it's pretty safe to say that I'm madly in love with Baby Yoda, and when episode 7 came and gave us that cute little, tiny little force choke, I was absolutely hooked, and I just had to do a piece based off of that moment. Every time I thought I had a pretty good grasp on just how cute Baby Yoda was, another episode came out and completely blew my expectations out of the water. But then when he did that tiny little force choke, I just had to do a piece based off of that. I'd already done one very adorable little illustration of Mando and Baby Yoda having a very cute little tea party, and I will link that down below. But episode 7 showed us a slightly darker side of Baby Yoda, and so I had to do a completely different piece based off of that. When I mentioned wanting to do a picture of Baby Yoda doing his adorable little horse choke, my husband immediately loved the idea and claimed it for his office when it was finished. So pretty quickly it was snatched and taken for that. My first Baby Yoda illustration was all about how adorable his relationship with Mando was. So it was very cutesy and light. It had some bright gold metallics. It was very warm and lovey-dovey. So this one had to be a little bit different. When I'm gonna be doing a piece that I know is going to be very dark overall, I'm a really big fan of these black pre-treated canvases. They're just really convenient when you know you're gonna be doing a lot of dark colors anyway. And since I really wanted this piece to have that dark, rough, gritty feel to it, that was a perfect base. And I decided to use colored pencils on this one rather than painting so the texture of the canvas would come through and keep that raw, gritty feel. My first step is to get a light pencil sketch onto the canvas, blocking in the basic shapes and proportions first to make sure that I'm happy with how much of the canvas Baby Yoda is going to be taking up. I did use a ruler to get the straight edges for the top of his little pod, but other than that I just freehanded everything. My base tone for the child's skin tone was this sort of mossy green. Then of course I used some black and some white for shading and threw in little bits of sort of a peachy tone or some browns or some blues to get different tones and depth to his skin. One of my favorite things about Baby Yoda's character design is that even though he is a child or a toddler or a baby, he has all these little knots and knobs and wrinkles to his skin, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I got some of that texture across. I also wanted to make sure that I brought across some of the more like tanny peachy areas like around his eyes to show that he's not all one solid color of green all across the board. He's definitely got some shifts to his skin tone as any person really would. One of the things that was interesting for me about this project is that typically I'm doing a lot of combining of different reference photos plus my own imagination. So I'm usually combining different poses, different people, then getting details from different shots. But in this case, I was completely just working from one reference photo. So that was a nice change of pace for me. It was interesting though, because it came from a video. There was not always a lot of detail. So I did sort of have to fill in a few blanks on my own and I also thought it was interesting in the reference photo that I was using there were definitely parts of Baby Yoda that were not totally in focus but I didn't want to really do that in this piece I wanted it to be all pretty much the same amount of detail across the board so that when you're looking at it your eye can focus on different bits at a different time so for instance, I didn't do a lot of detail on the top edge of his ears. That was definitely fuzzier in the detail shot that I was looking at, but also I wanted to leave that a little bit of softer of an edge for when I go back later and add in the hair and the fuzz that goes all across the top of his head because I just think that part's adorable. 
One of the most notoriously hard things to draw are hands, and I've never been one of those artists to shy away from drawing hands. I feel like I have a decent grasp on that, but I have never drawn a three-fingered hand before this, and let me tell you, it is so much harder than just drawing a regular human hand. Subconsciously, I have a good idea of what a human hand is supposed to look like because I see my own all the time. But this one gave me a little bit of trouble. Eventually I realized that it is a little fuzzy and out of focus in my reference photo. The lighting is not great, so I didn't have to have super duper perfect perfection and detail in this hand to get the feel across. So I sort of just went with it. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but it ended up better than I feared it was going to there for a little while. When I got to his adorable little robe, I wanted to make sure that I got across some of the detail, like the texture that's sort of burlappy, but I didn't want to focus so much on that that I would pull the attention away from Baby Yoda himself, so I had to walk a bit of a fine line there. And it was sort of the same situation with this little pod. I definitely wanted it to be identifiable for those who knew what was going on, or to just sort of blend a little bit into the background for somebody who didn't, because I didn't want the pod to be a major focus, just sort of something like a grounding background item. And then of course adding his cute fuzzy little hair was super fun. I started off with some very light sort of strokes of a sort of peachy tone and then I went back and added a few in a white to get a little bit of depth again and to add some highlights for the light catching that since it's on the top of him. I think it turned out equal parts dark and adorable, so I'm very happy with it. But my husband, of course, was ecstatic and immediately snatched it up, and the very next day, it was hanging up in his office. So, pretty sure he approves. If you enjoyed the speed paint, I hope you will like down below and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications when I upload a video every Monday and Thursday. If you haven't seen it already, be sure to check out my first Baby Yoda speed paint. It is super duper adorable. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.